Hello, 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 and welcome to day five. <laughs> so excited. It's day five, guys. Can you believe it? Okay, let's start. We start at a standing position with hands to heart. So I want to just move, I wanted to just adjust to the back of my mat. And just breathe, man. Allow your body to come back to your body. There you go. Hands to your side. And just allow your body to come into your body. This is so important, actually. Hey. And just breathe. Take a few conscious deep breaths here. And just lift your head. Yeah, lift your hands now. And bring them. Okay, so you're going to let your hands fall for, like your chest fall forward. Fall down to your knees. That's kind of what you're doing. You lift your hands and you fall down. It kind of wakes you up, this thing. And then you're going to walk your hands forward into the front of your mat to get into a plank position. And now you're going to get into a downward facing dog and you can walk it out. It wakes you right up. And <laughs> so here you jump forward and hopefully you don't have a tree blocking you. But basically into a standing white leg, white legged standing position. And you get into a squat and you go back up, lift your hands up to the sky and bring them back into a prayer position, squat and go back up. Come back. So now you can adjust your your legs not to be too wide, just to be wide enough to be able to do a squat. And lift your hands up. Bring them back to heart and squat. Lift your hands up, stretch your legs and squat. Hands to heart. Cool. So now you're going to get into a high lunge position with <clears throat> your left leg forward. And you're going to lift your left hand to the sky. And so instead of adjusting, so you're going to adjust your leg into the middle of your mat, the leg that's forward into the middle of the mat, and you're going to continue with that. So basically, it's almost like, yeah, so exactly what you just did, but your leg is kind of supporting you in a different way. So it's now less of a stretch and more of a, a strength thing. So back into downward facing dog, walk it out and you're going to bring now the right leg forward and the right hand or arm up. It's a really, really nice stretch. And yeah, you're going to do the adjusting thing where you cross your legs, almost. And it's now it's a strength thing, you see. You're not stretching, you're now strengthening. Breathe, my friends. Keep your shoulders out of your ears and breathe. Okay, back into that plank position that we like <laughs> the next thing here is that you're going to go on all fours and you're going to do back to basics your um, cat cows remember to breathe in when you drop your belly and out when you lift your back cool now you're going to do a gate pose you your leg is out your right leg is out and you stretch the opposite side that's that's what we call the gate pose and then you're going to thread the needle with this gate pose um, variation 
so you basically thread the needle under you and you can use your right um like your right hand can be right next to you or behind you for a deeper stretch completely up to you and you breathe breathe in and out okay okay so with the same leg that's out you're going to lift it behind you you're welcome to adjust the same leg just so you can do this and then you're going to lift your same hand right and you're going to bring knee to elbow just make sure that you don't drop the leg to the floor not even for a break so just a couple of times three you're going to do this five times actually and four and the last one remember it's not about it's not about how fast you're doing this it's about control it's about how you get there okay so you're gonna change legs now you're starting with that gate pose we spoke about and you stretch the other side so you, you yeah you stretch the one leg and then you you know stretch the other the opposite side of your body cool and then you're going to with the same leg out thread the needle up into the sky and you thread and you breathe like i said you have your hand to your back for a deeper stretch and you breathe okay so now you're back you're back up and remember that same leg that you stretched out is going to lift and the same side arm and you're gonna bring knee to elbow remember not fast but controlled three four controlled guys Five. That's it. Cool. Now back into your all fours, and now you're doing a high, actually um, upward facing dog. Walk it out back into a planking position, and you're going to push down and get into a, an upward facing dog. Going to do this a couple of times. You're going to get back into downward facing dog. Walk it out is optional. And into a planking position. And now you're doing a push down. And you lift your chest. Again. Downward facing dog, walk it out. Remember to breathe, guys. And then from here, you're gonna go into a planking position and push down slowly and lift your chest into an upward facing dog and breathe. Cool. Okay. So now you're going to go back into just that um, downward facing dog and walk your feet to the middle of your mat and you lift. So hands to heart, you can just adjust yourself. You see I was moving directions, moving sides, <laughs> just because um, I had something that was flying over me. I think it was a bee. Imagine a bee. <laughs> but nothing happened. So we good cool so you turn around well i turned around because of that bee and the sun because i wanted my face to be in the shade there you go cool then you lie on your back and you bring your knee to your side and you hold on to it while pressing your shoulders down you do the same thing on the other side make sure your shoulders don't move 
and now you're gonna lie down so i need you to lie down and you know preferably your palms should be facing up to the sky not like mine yes that like that and you breathe you stay here and allow yourself to be on this mat you can stay as long as you want but my session is not over namaste